In Psalm 63, King David, uh, he's, he's praying to God and he's saying, your, your love is better than life. And that's why my lips will glorify you. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. My name is uh, Colin Crichton. I'm the pastor of Carrick Macross Baptist Church in County Monaghan. Uh, and it's a joy to be getting ready to celebrate the National Day of Prayer and Praise on Sunday, the 31st of October. And what I want us to be thinking about is what it is that fuels our desire to praise God, what it is that ignites our passion to glorify Him with our lips. And King David in the song, he, he says it. It's, it's because of his love for God, his love that is better than life, that his lips will glorify God. And in Ephesians 3, Paul, he prays the same thing for the believers. He's praying that they would flourish in their relationship with God. And he says, I, I pray for you that being rooted and established in love, that you may have power together with all the saints to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of Christ. You see, Paul got it. He got it that, that, that for Christians to, to flourish, for us to be who God has designed us to be, what we need is we need to grasp this love of, of Christ that, that, that blows our mind and is, is beyond measure and beyond limit. But as we are captivated by Christ's love for us, that's how we flourish as God's people. It's because your love is better than life that my lips will glorify you. And we read in the, in, in the Song of Songs this great, this great song of, of love and desire and beauty. Right at the end, it says that love is as strong as death. It's jealousy as unyielding as the grave. It burns like a blazing fire, like a mighty flame. Many waters cannot quench love. Rivers cannot wash it away. You see, the Bible knows that, that this, this thing that we call love is, is powerful and it's relentless and it doesn't give up. And that gives us a picture, a window into this amazing love that God has for his people. This love that is relentless and pursues us into the darkness. And, and so often the 31st of October is the, is the day and the night of, of darkness. But we want it to be the night we want it to be the day when God's people are recaptivated by God's love. We want it to be a day of prayer and praise. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you.